one year. It's been one year since Undertale came out. I haven't really talked about it on YouTube because I don't post on YouTube anymore. At least not that much. I probably should, but that's besides the point. This is more for the people who follow me on Tumblr and iFunny and I guess SoundCloud too, although I don't know how they're going to see this. Um, I might post it on SoundCloud as just an audio file as well. But it's also for my friends at Everytail. My brother introduced me to it. As you guys on iFunny know, I'm spook Um... And then I got into it more through the Game Grumps, when they played that on Steam Train, and then when Jacksepticeye played it, and then I sort of just fell in love with the game when I was playing it too, because it's so unique, and it has such a funny sense of humor to me, and the characters are so memorable, every single one. And the soundtrack is amazing, and the gameplay, while it's nothing new, it takes things that you wouldn't think would work, and applies them together into this really interesting creation. So, because of that, I fell in love with the game, and I wanted to make art for it. And art I have made, at least I like to call it art. Um, before Undertale, I would do a lot of drawing of Pokemon, Assassin's Creed, Five Nights at Freddy's, stuff that would help me to, like, you know, get a basic understanding. Undertale's character designs made it so I had to push my limits. I had to do different things. I'd never drawn a skeleton before, and now I can pump out a Sans head complete with his eye sockets and everything in like half a minute and then like it takes like the rest of, the, of that half of a minute to do his body like all the way from his shoulders down to his freaking slippers and then with Toriel and Asriel and Asgore I'd never drawn anthropomorphic animals really the closest I'd come is the very stock designs that came from Five Nights at Freddy's and the closest was the fo was Foxy and I only really ever drew him from the front front so then came the humans Kara and Frisk and then Undyne Alphys and I learned a lot about scale and all these different things my art skills have improved significantly. And along with that, my storytelling with Wattpad, the Sorial fic that I did of one month, did way better than I imagined it would. And I only have those guys to thank for reading it and sharing it and liking it and voting for it. Um... Then there was the music. I really enjoy the music in Undertale. It's well thought out, it's well planned, well executed, and there are so many good remixes and original songs based upon the characters and the scenarios. Um, and they're really good, it's really good. If you haven't played Undertale by some random reason, um, Play it, for one, and also, if not that, get it for just the soundtrack. Just the soundtrack alone is great. It's got a lot of songs that are perfect for just walking, for trying to get work done, for trying to beat a hard boss in a game, for literally just anything that you want to do. There's probably a song in Undertale that will fit it. Um, I was about to say except for sex, but Confession would probably fix it that for you as well no promises though um so i was able to do singing for it the first song that i ever released of my own voice on soundcloud was the stronger than you cover which sadly has now the original stronger than you cover that was undertale related is now 
sadly more popular than the one that Rebecca Sugar put out, which is just a crime. Go listen to the original one. Garnet, the voice actor for Garnet is an amazing singer, and it's really good. Um, then I put out the Megalovania covers, and then I did a retake of that one, thanks to my friends at Every Tale telling me to try and put more emotion into it. And then I did something new with Azrael's Lament. That was the first song that I was that I felt comfortable sharing widespread to family, friends, everybody. And it's been really well received. And I only have you guys' support to thank for that. For helping me. Obviously, I couldn't have gotten to this point with my voice if it hadn't been for my real-life friends and my choir director and the voice coach that I had for like a few months and then I stopped taking it because I couldn't really keep doing it. Um, but it was extremely helpful for me. And now I plan on putting out a cover of the main Undertale theme, which hopefully should be out for my SoundCloud users by the time that the anniversary is here. But we'll find out. Um, Toby Fox is probably never going to see this. The only way he would is if one, is if my friend Costume Cat, who is in Every Tale, were to send this to him. But if you do, Cat, then one, thank you, and two, you rock. And also, in that case, I guess I should address this to Toby. Toby... You're an amazing writer, an amazing musician, and you found some great artists to help you with Temi and all the others. And I would assume that some of this art was yours. I mean, the Burger Pants one was yours, and that was freaking amazing. And then you had a great concept for a game, and you you pursued it, and you did amazingly. And then to top it all off, you had the support of all those backers. And to all those backers, even though I can't reach every single one of you, thank you for helping to create something that inspired me to create. And I guess another thing that I, it helped me do is to get into voice acting. With my flowy voice, with Azriel, with Sans, Papyrus, Metaton, Asgore, Gaster, all those voices that I've been able to um, try my hand at, I wouldn't have ever thought of those voices if it hadn't been for Undertale. So, thanks, Toby. You rock. Later. <laughs>